So is Indiana Jones five? Is it whack? Because um, I'm not hearing too many good things about it. And uh, listen, I, I'll say this. Indiana Jones came around a little bit before my time. So for me, I did not grow up on Indiana Jones. I grew up hearing how cherished Indiana Jones is for other people. So for me, it was kind of like, oh, okay, let me kind of go back and see what the hype is all about, you know? And don't get me wrong. I like the first three movies. I thought the first three movies were cool. Um, the Crystal Scrolls one or Skulls or whatever, it was whack. Like, it just was not good. And I was just like, is this y'all, this y'all hero? Like, this, this what y'all bringing back, you know? So instead of like trying to end it in four, they did come back with five. And now with five, they got James Mangold uh, directing. And this is the same guy who uh, gave us Logan, right? And he's going to be doing Swamp Thing as well. Now, with that said, um, I think on paper, this is a good combination. The trailers look decent. I'm not going to say the trailers got me excited, but they look decent. I was like, oh, okay, this looks like the old indie movies. And I kind of counted myself apart from all of that because, like I said, I didn't come up on Indiana Jones. That's not my role model. That's not my hero like that. So, <clears throat> you know, I let people rock with it. You know, if the people that grew up on this love it, cool. You know, I'm going to still go watch it. But recently, the movie, the fifth movie, who, by the way, has been produced by Kathleen Kennedy from Lucasfilm. Um, the fifth movie has now been screened at uh, the, the French uh, uh, film festival at Cannes. Um, and uh, usually one thing that's interesting about Cannes is like, at the festival, I haven't been there, but, you know, I always read about it. One of the interesting things about the festival is if a movie debuts and it's really good, that this is where you'll read about, oh, they gave it a 13-minute standing ovation. Oh, this was so good. It had a record-breaking 22 minutes of standing ovation. First of all, you're not getting two minutes of more clapping from me on anything. Six minutes, five, 10, 20. What? What do y'all? What? Like, I'm finna download an app of clapping, and I'm just gonna let it play. I'm not clapping for nothing that long, okay? But this is kind of like a con tradition where that's just what they do, right? They, they for whatever reason. But usually, you have the filmmaker there, you have the actor there, and all, and it's like a production, blah, 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 blah. So, again, the standard is usually like, yo, we give you a 10-minute ovation, 12-minute, 15, 20-minute. How much y'all think Indiana Jones 5 got? Because it was not that. Yeah, Indiana Jones 5 probably only got a five-minute standing ovation. Yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. So it says, uh, Khan's mustered a muted standing ovation for Indy's latest adventure. yes. The applause lasted for five minutes, but by con standards, that's more of a polite formality. Ugh. They gave my man just five minutes. And they said muted. They just said. Mm. Five minutes. OK, mm, goodbye. For Indy 5? Woo! Yikes! Yikes! Now, again, this is the type of festival where all they do is kiss each other's butts. That's all they do. They pray, oh, oh wonderful, oh, encore, oh, 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 oh. Like, they, they, they drool over everything over there. So, for this, that's kind of messed up. That ain't a good look. What else did I say here? Then it says the film's elaborate action scenes and witty one-liners delivered by Waller Bridge received a less than rapturous response inside the theater. During parts of the 142-minute film, audience members could be heard whispering out of boredom in French.
you y'all did not. They whispered in French how boring Indy Five was. In another language, though. In another language. Oof. Oof. What is wrong? What is what 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 is what is happening here? This is this ain't a good look. Again, this is from Kathleen Kennedy, aka, you know, Mrs. Star Wars right now. This ain't a good look. This was supposed to be your last hurrah. And this movie was supposed to tell it was supposed to send Harrison Ford on like a, a goodbye emotional tour now don't get me wrong the article does say that they gave harrison ford a much bigger and better standing ovation for him it was you know like for him not for the movie but for him y'all so some critics have already seen this movie at the festival and they've already weighed in and we only have 28 so far and 28 critics so far is usually like, think about it as like three to 400 that are actually on Rotten Tomatoes that weigh in on this stuff on average. But 28, it's not a great sample size, but this ain't a good start right now. Because right now, Indiana Jones 5 is at a 50% Rotten Tomato score. That means out of them 28 people, 14 of them said that this was a 5 out of 10 or lower. 5 out of 10. Y'all y'all don't even see me give 5 out of 10s like that. Like, I've given Venom 5 out of 10. Morbius 5 out of 10. Like, it takes a lot for me to hate a movie to make it rotten. If you would have asked me, is... Indiana Jones 5 going to be potentially rotten at any point in time, I would have said you drinking, you smoking, you got to get off that weed, something, whatever. Like, what? What? That's messed up. Oh. Since we're here, totally unrelated. Did y'all know what Fast X is currently at right now? Oh, 209 reviews, and it's only 53%. Whoo. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, that's. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't know why I just had that up there. You know, just. You know, and, it, and here's the ironic thing. I actually gave it a positive review according to Rotten Tomato standards. And it's still at 53%. Er. Now, of course, they made it for the fans, so blah, blah, blah. But anyway, Indiana Jones is out here struggling. Um, apparently, it's just not that good. Um, yikes. Yikes. And I, I find that more concerning because usually when you see like people go to festivals or or screenings, like, like, like big events like that, they tend to be a little bit more favorable so the fact that they came out there not like it ooh, something pushed them to the point where they were like this ain't it chief this ain't it so anyway y'all let me know what do you think about indiana jones coming out the gate rotten again very early sample size um but getting only five minutes of clapping and bored french whispers let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. This was just a segment of one of my live chats. And if you're interested in joining in on the next one, be sure to subscribe and turn on your notifications for more. I've got more videos and reviews to do for you all. And until next time, I'll see you all later.